Every man gives his life for what he believes. One life is all we have to live, and we live according to what we believe. Everything I have said or done is in the hands of God. I commit myself to Him. I certify you to that I would do or say nothing against the Christian faith. Since God commanded me to go, I must do it. Men are sometimes hanged for telling the truth. The poor folk lately came to me, for I did them no unkindness, but helped them as much as I could. The maid and her soldiers will have the victory. Therefore, the maid is willing that you, Duke of Bedford, should not destroy yourself. If I am not, may it please God to bring me into it. If I am, may he preserve me in it. The angels are perfect in form as they are in spirit. Even little children repeat that oftentimes people are hanged for having told the truth. Do you know whether you or not you are in God's grace? If I am not, may God put me there. If I am, may God so keep me. Truly, if you were to tear me limb from limb and separate my soul from my body, I would not say anything more. If I did say anything, afterwards I would always declare that you made me say it by force. Courage, do not fall back. It is true, I wish to escape, and so I wish still. Is not this lawful for all prisoners? If I ever do escape, no one shall reproach me with having broken or violated my faith, not having given my word to anyone, whosoever it may be. Every man gives his life for what he believes. Every woman gives her life for what she believes. Sometimes people believe in little or nothing, and so they give their life to little or nothing. One life is all we have, and we live it as we believe in living it, and then it's gone. But to surrender who you are and to live without belief is more terrible than dying, even more terrible than dying young. Even though I saw the executioner and the fire, I could not say anything but what I have said. I'm going to take it as it comes. Alas, that my body, clean and whole, never been corrupted, today must be consumed and burned to ashes. In God's name, let us go on bravely. Help yourself and God will help you. I fear nothing for God is with me. All battles are first won or lost in the mind. I was admonished to adopt feminine clothes. I refused and still refuse. As for other evocations of women, there are plenty of other women to perform them. If I said that God did not send me, I should condemn myself. Truly, God did send me. Act, and God will act. I place trust in God, my Creator, in all things. I love Him with all my heart. I saw them with my bodily eyes as clearly as I see you, and when they departed, I used to weep and wish they would take me with them. It is better to be alone with God. His friendship will not fail me, nor His counsel, 
know his love in his strength i will dare and dare and dare until i die i die for speaking the language of the angels i answered the voice that i was a poor girl who knew nothing of riding and warfare courage do not fall back in a little the place will be yours watch when the wind blows my banner against the bulwark you shall take it How else will God speak to me if not through my imagination? I am the drum on which God is beating out his message. Hope in God. If you have good hope and faith in him, you shall be delivered from your enemies. Go forward bravely. Fear nothing. Trust in God and will be well. Hold the cross high so I may see it through the flames. I would rather die than do something which I know to be a sin or to be against God's will. If I am not, may God place me there. If I am, may God so keep me. I should be the saddest in all in all the world if I knew that I were not in the grace of God. But if I were in a state of sin, do you think the voice would come to me? I would that everyone should could hear the voice as I hear it. I think I was about 13 when it came to me for the first time. I was in my 13th year when I heard a voice from God to help me govern my conduct and the first time I was very much afraid. You say that you are my judge. I do not know if you are, but take good heed not to judge me ill because you put yourself in great peril. Of the love or hatred God has for the English I know nothing but I do know that they will be all thrown out of France except those who die there Since God had commanded it it was necessary that I do it since God commanded it even if I had a hundred fathers and mothers even if I had been a king's daughter I would have gone nevertheless Get up tomorrow early in the morning and earlier than you did today and do the best that you can. Always stay near me for tomorrow I will have much to do and more than I ever had and tomorrow blood will leave my body above the breast. Far rather would I sit and sew beside my poor mother for this nothing is not of my condition. but i must go and i must do this thing because my lord will have it so rather now than tomorrow and tomorrow than the day after i shall last a year and but little longer you must think to do good work in that year four things are laid upon me to drive out the english to bring you to be crowned and anointed at realms to rescue the duke of orleans from the lands hands of the english and to raise the siege of orleans king of england and you duke of bedford who call yourself regent of the kingdom of france settle your debt to the king of heaven written to the maiden who is envoy of the king of heaven the keys to all good towns you took and violated in france It is true that the king has made a truce with the duke of Burgundy for 15 days and that the duke is to turn over the city of Paris at the end of 15 days yet you should not marvel if i do not enter that city so quickly